Hello, hello. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Hopefully somebody else will be. Oh my goodness. We will just wait a few minutes. This pretty catalog here for you to stare at. <sighs> hey, two people are there somewhere. Welcome. <sighs> Come have a sip of tea with me and chat. <laughs> How are you, whoever's out there? Hi, Nix. You're going to be mad at me. <laughs> I still have your stuff, but it's it's going out this week. I'm sorry. I'm just a mess the last week or so with stuff going on at the house and everything. So, but it's here. I haven't forgotten you. And I do want to get it out of here because maybe this weekend I'll actually get to clean. Hi, Paige. And I got your other package today. I'm not even sure where I put it right now. I think it's on my dining room table. <laughs> so I will open it tomorrow. Thank you. Well, we might be it, ladies. I don't know. Um, anyway, but this is just the cover of the pretty catalog. And this is my, uh, I think, last pre-order that I'll be doing. So I was I was going to try and do it in an order, but I think I'm just going to grab stuff and go with it. <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. And I think I'm going to go with kits first because they're sitting on my desk in front of me and I need the desk space. So let's do that. I opened this one. This one is called, I don't know what it's called, Botanical. It was on the outer box, which I somewhere else already hmm. that's weird anyway this is a um product medley that is so strange i thought i you know what it's probably on the wrapper oh my gosh yep botanical prints product medley i'm going to shove that in this little white box so this is a medley and this is the stamp set. Just has some floral, sort of unusual florals and berries. I'm always here for you. Thank you kindly and friend. Um, and let's see the dies. I apologize. I haven't had a chance. Hi, Brandy. I haven't had a chance to take anything out of the wrappers. I literally um, it just came up here like 20 minutes before live and started going through the box. I just carried the box up. Because I've had an exhausting two days and I fell asleep. I did set my phone alarm and it went off and I was definitely asleep and the cat was asleep on me. <laughs> so let's see what these dyes are like. Okay, so it has, it has these. It's got two leaves and it's got the corner frames, which are pretty. So, but I think what I wanted this for was the paper, the paper, and apparently it comes with this twill ribbon, and it is in Old Olive, which I always like, so I'll definitely be using that. It sort of looks um, like herringbone, you know, like the, we've had twill ribbon in something else before. Anyway... The craft fair went pretty well, Nick. Thank you for asking. It was, I mean, I never do like spectacular. I don't, I have so much stuff that I don't ever sell out of stuff. Um, but I did sell quite a bit to the residents, to the staff. And then I think there were family members and other outside people coming in too. Now the bad news is right around the time people would be getting off work to be able to come it started snowing and sleeting and stuff. So um, it was supposed to go to seven and from six to seven. It was pretty much done. So next time they told us they're going to have it on a Saturday next year. And I think that's a good thing. Now these are interesting. These are little charms. 
which look to me to be like bees, which is interesting because I'll show you in a few minutes. Yeah, these look like bees, but they're like a rose gold almost. Yeah, so let's see how many you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So people that don't like insects will not like these. Eight, nine, ten, you get 12. 12 pieces, and they do not have loops on them like charms. So these are just meant to be glued down on cards or something. And then this paper. Now this paper um, is colors on one side, and it's all black and white on the other. So let's see. Maybe there's two patterns per color. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, there's two for this one, which looks like pretty peacock. This looks like lemons and crushed curry. And another, there's the other orangey one, which I think might be grapefruit grove or maybe, actually I lie, I think that's terracotta tile. And then I guess these are lemons too. I don't have anything lemon or fruit. But then the other sides are all black and white, which is what I liked. I love this tile one. So we have some stripes. We have this. We have this one. And then I guess the cut lemons or some kind of fruit. And then more of a black with white tile instead of white with black. So this is the botanical thing and then you also get these which also I liked the colors on these and you get it looks like four of these which you know you can use as stencils or you can use them as overlays they're pretty I sometimes fumble with those I'm not ever sure quite what to do with them other than stenciling then you get some labels and then you get okay so we have oranges plums lemons and cherries it looks like botanical fruits the fruits of our labor <laughs> oops i just dropped my little things so this is kit number one this is a product medley similar to um everything is rosy was a product medley where you have everything you've got Everything except glue and scissors and stuff. You've got your pieces, you've got ribbon, and you have stamps and dies. So that'll be nice for a spring and summer. All right, let me find somewhere to put that. Okay, next kit. This is um, called Three Cheers for You card kit. This is how it comes and what it looks like. I thought it was really pretty. It's... um. We've got a stamp set here, which I'm going to leave. Uh, that's not going to help you see it, is it? Hang on. Does that help? Not a whole lot. One second. Let me find a different, a lighter color. Like white. Here we go. It says, thank you. My heart can't stop smiling. Hooray for Tiny Miracles. Three cheers for you. It's got this design, which reminds me of a paper in the annual catalog. And birthday wishes all around. It comes with Knight of Navy stamp spot. I like how they have it boxed. And then it comes in a box. A box within a box. And I love the box. <laughs> I always love the boxes. All right. I like this pattern. And I, I can't remember. Hang on. I can't remember the name of the. Um, I can show you the annual catalog, right? The one that has all the colors in. That at first I wasn't sure I liked it. And then I grew to really like it. Woven thread suite. To me, it, that pattern looks very similar to this one, but it's only in the blues. So I think it goes well with this woven thread suite. That's what I was trying to think of. I don't have that suite, but I had the 
uh, dies and stuff, and I have the paper. So you get, I guess it's linen thread, copper sequins, adhesive, I'm sure, yes. Um, dimensionals, you actually get a stamp block. And then, of course, everything is in plastic. So bear with me tonight, please, I hope. Hope you'll stay with me. So tonight, it's been raining yesterday and today. And um, I know I usually do the drawings and stuff, but I may put off the drawing for this week till next week. Um, just because, honestly, I don't even know where the prize is right now. This room, I just, I'm a little depressed over my mess. Um, so we have a block. Now, this is a little different because the paper pumpkin ones and stuff, I think, are more square. Hang on. I have one here somewhere. It's just a little smaller. This is the Stampin' Up one, but that's that's really dirty. But it's a little bit... Nope, it's the same. It's just a tad smaller and a little bit thinner. So, anyway, a little bit thinner, but you get a free Stampin' Block. Okay, let's see what the cards are like. Here's the first card I love. Of course, it's blue, you know. Then this is like Night of Navy, except it's white inside already. And then we have this design, not my fave. And then we have this one, which I do love. And then we have the envelopes and I'm pretty sure they are patterned as well. Oops. Yes, they have patterns in the envelopes. Let me see if they're all they're probably different. Yeah, they're different patterns, probably three or four different ones of those. And then we have some cutouts. It might, might be Nick's. <laughs> it probably is. Oh, my goodness. Do you remember what it was? I can't even remember what it was. Anyway, for this week. Really bad. I'm just not prepared tonight. Sorry. These are definitely like a craft. And they have that. Um, blue pattern on them. They're kind of cool. I really like them. They have the feel of the of the old thick paper bags to me. And then you get some white with rose gold. It looks like um, labels. And you get one, two, three, four sheets of them, but two of this kind and one of this kind and one of this kind. Oh, there's another one of those. And then you even get mini glue dots. So this is packed. Sort of like, um, I guess, sort of like a paper pumpkin, but only you get to pick it if you want it. Okay, so this only has three on, and these have four. So one, two, are they different? These appear to be a little bit wider this way, not that way, but... But see, this only goes from here to here. Yeah, these are a little longer. So there's only three of them. Okay. So let me put all this back in the box. <laughs> yeah, I really like, I like this one. And this, this will probably grow on me. It just, I'm not sure I like those two colors together. If this had been next to the navy or... Yeah, I don't know. But... Oh, well. I didn't design it, so I can't change it. <laughs> and put everything back in here. For now. This is called an all-inclusive kit. Um, and I guess the difference between this kind of kit and a product medley is you don't get paper with it. You still get a stamp. You don't get any dyes either. You get die cuts. But you have everything you need. It's got the, plus it's also got the um, ink, the glue dots, and the um, dimensionals with it. So that's why it's an all-inclusive kit. Let me put that back here and hope that it doesn't fall. 
All right. Um, and I'll show you a punch. This is a punch. There are two label punches in the catalog. I only got one. To me, I'll tell you why. The other one to me looked very similar, like a cross between the timeless label and uh, I don't think it was as wide as this. It it seemed to me to, to look similar to this, although I don't think it had a little dip here. I think it just was like went out a little further and then had a little rounded end. Um, and I can't remember that what that one was called. This one is called Label Me Lovely and that was Label Me Something Else. Um, but I like this one because it's deep this way and that's why I wanted it. So it's something different to use than a circle, but it has a decorative edge um, and it's not real, real long. So this is nice for your sentiments you know, that are more up and down and things and, and or just doing decorative things. So I, I like punches, so I had to get that. And um, they have saddle brown stays on and a refill. And I had to go to my non Stampin' Up! ink drawer and hi clay. And uh, I do not have this color, so I got it because... I can never have too many inks, right? <laughs> so this says great for metal, plastic, glass, and other semi to non-porous surfaces, permanent ink. So if you want the inks that stays on saddle brown ink, get it while you can because, you know, the inks went pretty fast from the holiday catalog. And then I debated on getting this. This is um, mint macaron ribbon because I already have a text textured or textile mint macaron but this is a skinny ribbon and it's more shiny than the other one um, and this goes with the the fashion uh, set that I got before but I didn't get the ribbon before so and that's what this looks like it's called hmm I don't know. Let's see. Sheer linen ribbon, one eighth inch. We've had this before in different colors, but then you get 10 yards approximately. 100% polyester. It's a good ribbon tying ribbon. Yeah, it is pretty. <laughs> you need to get a pin for that. Okay. Let me show you hmm, stamp set a sweet kind of thing. Now, I didn't get the whole sweet page. I know you watched Nina's thing yesterday, and with this, she got the little pom-poms, but she couldn't find the ribbon, and I got the ribbon and didn't get the pom-poms, and there's something else that goes with it, too, but now, now that I saw her open the pom-poms, I want the little pom-poms, too, but this has ribbon also. It's a wrist ribbon, one quarter inch, and it is Daffodil Delight. So I am happy to have that for spring projects and things. So I love that one. That's a pretty spring color. And then this is, you know, they always have to have a stamp set and stuff for um, younger people. <laughs> and this one's called Bonanza Buddies. And I believe that's the name of the suite. So you can see it's got the little koala bear, a little tiger and lion head you can put over here, and the little toucan bird, and then it's got some different little bows and pr to put on presents. And this is photopolymer, and there's little strings for the balloons. Yeah, strings for the balloons. Happy birthday, too, from. I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. You can use that for anybody's birthday and let's celebrate you. Oh, and look at this little face on here that you stamp separate. That's so cute. And then the dies. Sorry, I should have had all these open. Yes, I have it. I'm going to show that next. <laughs> I did get the DSP. Um, I just, the only thing. Uh, I didn't get I didn't get the pom poms and there's another product. It's like um, some kind of cello bag, but I don't have it, so I can't show it to you. 
and it, I think it has a decoration on it, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Okay, so Bonanza dies. We have a tag. We have two types of pennants for birthdays, you know, to hang up. And then these are your dies that cut your little animals. I'm not sure about this one. Oh, this is probably the, the lion head thing. And then here's the bird. Here's the... Uh, here's the tiger. This is the koala bear. And you've got a circle and a triangle. Circle for the balloon, I guess. Triangle for the party hat. And I don't know. This might be a puffy thing for to put on a tail. <laughs> I'm guessing because I don't know what else that would be. But yeah, so you get how many dies is this? Ten dies in that one. So that's pretty good. Let me put them back in here. And I save my plastic envelopes from these when I get them. Just so you know. Of course, I have a stack over here and they're getting ready to fall. So that's Bonanza Buddy. So let's pull out the paper that goes with it. Here it is. And this is called Birthday Bonanza. Maybe that's the name of the sweet designer series paper. Coordinating colors are Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana. I like those two so far. Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Grapefruit Grove, Mango Melody, Terracotta Tile, Smoky Slate, Whisper White, and Basic Black. Of course, they had to have basic black for the toucan bird there. Yeah, I like that it has a tag die, too. Um, so here is the toucan holding the balloons. And let's see. There's two of those. I'll show the backs later. I like the little koala bear. I think he's cute. I think he's cute. And I don't usually get the cutesy birthday papers, but I like this one for some reason. And I think, you know, I got the tropical paper in the last one. I think this little toucan would work good with that. Um, if you use one without the party hat, it would go good with that um, tropical paper, too. And that's sweet. Here's, these are all birthday candles. Oh, the lion is so cute, too. Gotta love my kitties. <laughs> oh, and here we have all the animals and presents in miniature form. And then we have these bright, colorful balloons. And that's it. So let me flip them over. So one, two, three, four, five, six designs to each. And here's the reverse. Really pretty reverse side, I think. Um, that can be used for so many different things. This one looks like sprinkles. We've got stripes. We've got presents. Ice cream cones. Yummy. Love this one. Just like scatter, table scatter or something. And I don't know. <laughs> More table scatter of a different kind. So yeah, that's the birthday bonanza designer series paper. Um... Now, I also did get a couple of things in my rewards that were not new things. I got more champagne foil sheets there in the annual catalog. Um, and I got another Tombow and I got another um, mini glue dots. But I'm not going to show all that stuff to you. Okay, so a couple other stamp sets before I get to the ones I love, love. Actually, a lady at our um, on stage used these, and oh my gosh, her, her cards were beautiful, and I love this one that's sort of looking away and walking in the meadow, and then the mom and the little girl on the beach, or the two little girls, and this could be my, well, they're a little older, farther apart in age, but this could be my granddaughters, you know, and my daughter and one of her daughters, or me and my daughter. So it just says, thinking of you, collect beautiful moments, you're somebody's blessing. And then you've got a little mountainy type thing up here and some birds and a butterfly, two butterflies. So really cute. And this was a million dollar achiever 
and I will not remember which person it was. There's a couple of them in this catalog now. All right, so let me put that down here again. And I got Music from the Heart, and I saw Dina got that too. Um, I've always loved music. I used to play piano. I actually uncovered it recently, and it was just the bench was covered with stuff I couldn't even sit. <laughs> which one next? Which one did you like? I know I'm going fast and not paying enough attention. Sorry. The beautiful moments. So if you like music, um, you even have, you know, the, the, uh, hmm, the staff, I guess it is. I don't know what they call it anymore. Treble clef, bass clef with a heart and just some notes and a little heart, a guitar stem. Forget your trebles. <laughs> you rock. So anyway, I just really like that. And it's photopolymer. So beautiful moment. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. That'll be pretty watercolored. Okay, so now this one, I really liked these large fonts. This is a cling. And I saw this. They have like display boards at on stage. And they showed this on the display board. And I really liked it. And then I realized there's a there's a kit that goes with it. And it's called Seriously the Best. But the kit, just I wasn't feeling the kit. So I just got the stamp set. It's one of those where it's not all inclusive. You get the stamp set separate from the kit. Which I'm actually glad of in this case. Because I really like these larger fonts. So I hope they stamp really good. Because it says, hello friend, I miss you a lot. Thanks, you're seriously the best, and congrats, you did it. And then just some leafy things and tiny little posies. I knew it had a hair on me. And those these type words are separate from the, the script stamps, so you don't have to worry about cutting them or anything like that. So, yeah, I like that too. Okay, now, let's see. Um, before I show you my favorites. <laughs> okay, this was available to me to get in the um, pre-pre-order, but I couldn't. I just couldn't do it all at once. So, uh, Mountain Error, and this is reversible. So, it's photopolymer. It's funny, when it's a reversible stamp set, they have these pictures on the inside. But one side gives you, you know, this texture look, and the other one gives you color. So you can put a faint color in the background. You can even offset it a little bit. Here you've got your tree line, mountains, some, some um, evergreen trees, clouds, and a moon. I like that. And then a couple little birds, too. So I thought that was cool. Hi, Dia. Hi, Erica. You need all of this? Yes. <laughs> yes. January 3rd for customers and for um, demonstrators. If you become a demonstrator now, you can order all this in, well, some of it in your starter kit. Um, if you wait until January to become a demonstrator, then there's some other goodies that you can get. And I'll show you two of them in a moment. So here's the die. So these, again, the picture on here is a little deceiving because it's smaller than what's actually in here. Plus, there's two other trees. So here's the double trees. Here's the single tree. And here's your mountain range here. Um, and then here's your tree line. It just cuts the top of the tree line up here. So that is really cool. I think I'm going to have fun with this. I I don't know. I get nervous when I get stamp sets like this that I won't know what to do. But I, I, can, I think I can figure it out. I can figure some stuff out. <laughs> so, yes, I needed all this too. My bank does not agree with me, but I do. Um, okay, so then I got some more boring stuff. I got the new, these are not boring though, new champagne rhinestones. Remember, I brought some back from on stage but they were used already and i just had to get one more unopened pack 
Let me stick them in my drawer right away. I also got from the annual catalog clear medium envelopes. They come in a pack of 50. And I need them for swap cards that I should have mailed out already and haven't. Um, okay. This stamp set goes with the... Oh, goodness. Where is it? I have it. Stitch Stars dies that are in the holiday catalog and that are continuing. And it's Morning Glories. And I love Morning Glories because my um, my mom had them when I was a little girl. I think it was my brother who wanted to grow them, actually. And they were blue. Maybe that's why I like blue. I don't know. Anyway, these are more like all occasion. Um, I think the stamp set in, for the holiday catalog is retiring, but the dies are carrying forward. And... It says, each day is a new beginning. Thank you for being you. You are the best. So proud of you. You are a star. And then this one was swirly design. And then, of course, you have your swirly things in here as well. So, yeah, morning glories. And this is like stars that you would stamp onto a, a die, um, a die star, a die cut star. Sorry. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And at first I thought, oh, maybe I'm not going to get it. But you know what? I want to be able to use it with my stitch stars. So I got it. And then um, I got positive thoughts. And I'm pretty sure I got this. Um, just to give you an idea of what you can get if you have good good amount of stamping rewards. Morning Star, this, um, the Tombow glue, the mini glue dots, the clear envelopes, the rhinestone champagne jewels, and the foil sheet champagne. I got all that free, okay? And I got one other thing for 50% off. I'll show you that in a minute. But I just like this hugs, prayers, love, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. That sounds like a Deb saying. And friends like you mean more every year and that too as I get older especially I feel that way and these beautiful flowers feathers and butterflies and these are cling so I look forward to using that and then this one is not in the celebration um, it's in the holiday catalog but it's carrying forward and I didn't have it there's a couple things in the holiday catalog I ha didn't have and I really would like to have um, but I couldn't get them all. So I got this mini curry keepsake box dies because I thought it would be way too small, but you can fit like, um, four or five little Hershey kisses in this box or other little trinkets. And it's got a star, this little droplet kind of thing, teardrop heart square and oval for little tags you can put on it um i think this was a snowflake or two probably went with the stamp set which is retiring and then these two spriggy things but i'll probably most of the time just use the tags and the box anyway and so someone gave me one up at on stage and i'm like man i should have got that <laughs> So I waited to see if it was carrying over, and it is, so I got it. And I got it half off. So instead of being $34, it was $17, which I thought was a good price. Okay. All right. Now, hmm. Did I show you my favorites yet? I don't think I did. I don't think I showed you my favorites. Okay, so when I went to on stage, they have display boards. And what that is is just tall cube boards standing up, and there's things on each side. Well, this where they put the sweets and some of the stamp sets, some sample cards and things on there. Um, and this is the one set uh, bundle that I saw that I knew I just had to have. I don't know why. I, I have a thing for gates and doors and windows and stuff. Um, and this is called Grace's Garden. I don't know who Grace is, but um, or if it's just like by the grace of 
you know, God or something. But um, but I loved it. I just loved it. And that little kitty cat with his little tail is just so cute. And there's a little bird. I thank you for all the kindness in yours. Oh, it says, with all my heart, I thank you for all the kindness in yours. Hello. Of all the blossoms in life's garden, friendship is the most fragrant. But I got it for the images the most. And um, you get 10 dyes, garden gateway dyes. Love this. I have always wanted this. My house is a cottage, and I, when I first bought it, I thought, I'm going to turn this into, you know, the English cottages with all the flowers and stuff. I always wanted to have that, but I cannot grow stuff well. But I wanted to have a gate going, like, from the white picket fence along the, to the, but I don't have a white picket fence either, so... <laughs> Anyway, it was a dream, so maybe this is going to fulfill my dream of having it, but just on paper instead of in reality. So you have this frame, I guess, that cuts out a hollow. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to figure it out because this cuts both edges. You've got your garden gate here. Then you've got, of course, your flowers and things that are in here. It looks like a couple five extra flowers and two extra roses and the kitty uh, these are just the two fence posts over here, and then this is this gate here. So, really, really nice. And I can see this um, also being a little, like, I'm going to have to play with it because I'm not good at dimension in cards that much. So, I'm going to be um, practicing a lot with that, but that was, like, one of the number one, it probably was my number one must-have set that I wanted to get. So, but that's just because I have that story to go with it. And then my second must-have set is this one. I don't know why I was just really attracted to these honeybees um, and this hive. <laughs> Thinking of you, sweet friend. Hello, thank you. Celebrate every moment and wishing you sunshine and happiness. It's a curved stamp which goes around this. Yep, it's a curved stamp. I don't have any curved stamps. Yeah, it has the kitty. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> they made it just for me. I love the bee too. Hi, Dorothy. I'm sorry if I missed you coming in earlier. So, and then these are the dies. And these are in the, um, these two pieces. Look at this, the honeycomb. Look at this bee. Wow. And then here's the smaller, the, the two you stamp. And then this is a separate one that's bigger. So there's actually three. Papa, Mama, and Baby Bee, right? <laughs> and then these flowers cut out and two little hearts. And I like the honeycomb, too. So I think that will be fun, but I'm not done. Hang on. So to go with this, there's been a set in the annual catalog, and I kept putting off getting it. And I thought, you know what? If I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this. It's called Be Thankful. This was a carryover from last year's annual into this year's, I believe. Um, and I just thought it was adorable. It's like a big thanks with a little B on it. So I think I can use these together. It's just one big stamp and it's cling. So I got both of those. This one in the 2020 mini, this one from the annual. And then in the celebration, is the paper and this is called golden honey specialty designer series paper it's golden because it has gold <laughs> and um so there's one and then look at the gold honeycomb love this paper this was like this was my second love that i saw on the boards and then i found out this was in celebration only and i was kind of disappointed but Hey, I got it. I got it. I got it. 
And then we have golden bees. I like them as long as they don't sting me. <laughs> and then we have black with gold stripe. And this almost looks like, you know, street lines or something. Maybe it's just honey drippings. I don't know. Or their flight path. So let me turn them over. They're all black and white also. So, yeah, monochromatic. So we have flowers. Then the flower that looks like the one in the stamp set. Black with white. Um, oh, Octagon, is it? No, not not. I don't know. Whatever it is. Hexagon? No, that's 10. This one, the beehive and the bees, and a black and white stripe. So, yeah, I love this paper. Love, love, love it. This is a celebration item. When you spend $50, you can get it. So, if you get the stamp set and die, the bundle, and maybe get the Be Thankful out of the annual catalog, you got your 50 and you can get your paper. So that is my thinking on it. <laughs> and I have to put it back in the crinkly paper because I have nowhere else to put it right now. So we're not quite done. Um, so let me put them away. And I have a couple things now that are celebration. And then I have another thing. So this is celebration. And I think... Uh, let me double check something if I can get to it. I think this is for 50 and this is for 100, but let me make sure I'm right because I'm not positive. Yes, the punch is free with a hundred dollar order, it goes with this stamp set, which is free with a fifty dollar purchase. So, if you like your flowers and things. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness and congratulations and thank you. This is photopolymer and of course the bloom, five petal bloom goes uh, with these two I, I'm pretty sure. And this looks like the center of this and a smaller piece in the center. So really cute. I like flowers, you know. And then also... Um, you know, last time I got a lot of um, stuff from Celebration, but so this time I got things I didn't have before. This is free, only one of them, with a $50 purchase. It is called Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequins Combo Pack, and it goes really nicely with, I think, the lovely Lily Pad set, which I have. Um... No, actually, they're calling it Peaceful Moments. Yes, with the Lily, Lily Impressions Designer Series paper, which I've showed before. But I think this is really cool twine because it's metallic. So pretty. Um, I don't remember the colors. Let's see. Bermuda Bay, So Saffron, and Calypso Coral. And the Calypso Coral is in the sequins. Oh, they're striped. That's really cool. Let me take the lid off. Without spilling them. Can you see them? Uh, focus. Can't see them. I don't know if you can see the stripes. The glare is too much, I think. But they have like little striations of tone-on-tone -tone color on all of them. And they're varying sizes. So that's really cool. And I thought they could be used with a lot of different things. But I these two colors... Yes, please. Bermuda Bay and so saffron. The saffron has gold through it, but the Bermuda Bay has like the tone on tone, but it's Bermuda Bay metallic. Really pretty. Love it. And yes, that's with a $50 purchase. And then I'm getting there, guys. <laughs> and then this card kit and this is called kerchief card kit and i have to see i think it's a 50 dollar level level one item um just checking for you yep 
So this card kit is, um, you can get it with a $50 purchase. All right. And I thought it was different. I kind of like this. It brings back memories of the 70s. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, thank you guys for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that very much. And I apologize for not being on much. Um, I finally got my video up. Okay, so we have some thicker, like, jute and some dimensionals. These are envelopes. Ooh, we have some um, vellum with gold dots on them. Pieces. That's pretty cool. And it looks like there might be five or six of them. No, maybe four. Four of those. And then there's some glue dots as well. And here are our card bases. So here's your, I guess this is the Calypso Coral. Ooh, we have gold um, die cuts. Sorry for the glare. But they're different flowers and leaves. That's pretty. And this is beautiful. I love this one. This caught my eye. So let me see. I think you get one, two, three. You get four of each. So you get eight cards. Let's check the envelopes. Okay, so you have the corally color and the blue color. And the blue is like seaside spray, which is actually what's printed on here, I think. But this looks like Calypso Coral or Bermuda Bay or, and Bermuda Bay and Night of Navy. And this is coral and I think petal pink. So anyway, we have those. And then you have some pre-stamped in French <laughs> and English. So thinking of you. Oh, and in German. So it looks like, looks like French, German, and English. So you really two in English of each of these, uh, four of each. So celebrate today or thinking of you. And that's the cardboard. And then, of course, you get your instruction thing. So really pretty. Ooh, look at that. I wonder where that's probably like one of the dimensional stamps that we already have. Mm. So very pretty. And that is called Kerchief Card Kit, and that's free with a $50 purchase. And I love that. Of course I do. <laughs> and I think, let me just make sure I'm not missing something. I'm missing one other thing. So that's all that for regular purchases, but... This time for demonstrators who join in January to March, in addition to getting $125 worth of product for $99, you get three items. And this is for January 3rd till the end of March. You get a mini paper trimmer only available. It's a guillotine trimmer. Only available to new demonstrators in next year. It's called Mini Paper Cutter. Supervise small children. Sharp edges. Yes, do not stick your finger under there. <laughs> yeah, that card kit with the kerchief, that is pretty. And then, in addition to that, you get a sampler. This is Designer Series Paper 6 by 6 inch sampler. So... Let's just open this baby up if I can. Sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so let's just see what we have. Ooh, this is the poppies. So you're not going to get a sample of all the papers that there are in Celebration, but you get, you know, there's the poppies. They're in the mini catalog. This is the lily pads, and that's in the celebration. This is also lily pads in the celebration. Here's another one from the poppies. Oops. 
And, ooh, look at this pretty. I think this is, I can't remember if this is the Paris one or the, um, I think this is in the Paris one. There were two sets and the one was Blooms. Or maybe it's in the tropical because the next one here is tropical. <laughs> so there's your tropicals. So that's probably what it is. Oh no, I don't know because here's pineapples and flowers. So this is tropical. I'm not sure that one is. It might be. And then here's some fashion. The shoes and the purses. And then this is from the birthday bonanza buddies or something I just showed you with the balloons on one side. And then you have from the country club one that I have the paper only because I got it free. Um, it's got the argyle and green and then the plaid in navy with the golf balls. And then here's another party one from the birthday the birthday one with the little toucan line. So it's a nice sampler pack for new demonstrators that they can use um, if they can't afford to get it all right away. You know, you get the sampler pack. And then, let's see, what did Paige say? Oh, yeah, the card kit. Um, yeah, so this is like a sampler of a good many of the sweets in the mini occasion catalog. Really pretty. Love it all. Love it all, except um, maybe not the golf. I'm not a golfer. I like to play mini golf. <laughs> like to play mini golf. Um, and then a new demonstrator can also get a a free stamp set. So it just not like stamp and dies, but like for example, if you wanted this, you could pick it. And it it did not say it had to be out of the mini catalog. It probably could be out of the annual catalog also. This is just an example, but because it doesn't have dies right there with it. Because um, you don't get dies free, you get a stamp set free of your choice. There are some limits. I don't think it can be host sets and stuff like that. So I think that is everything. Let me make sure. Got the honeybees. Yes, I think I have a big mess on my floor. <laughs> Okay, guys, so what's your favorite out of this round? What's cute for tag these or the um, or the kerchief thing? I'm confused. These papers. All these papers. This would be good for, I'm going to keep it on my desk instead of pulling out my big one when I just need to trim a little something. And try it out. So I'll be using that. It really clicks into place. I think it might be magnetized. I don't know. I have just opened it. Literally. <laughs> the golf stuff. If you have a golfer in your family, I like the plaids on the other side, but I'm not a I'm not a the card kits, all of them. <laughs> yeah, the kerchief one, remember, is celebration. So that's free with $50 order. Um, and then this one I really like as well, the all-inclusive kit. And there was another one. What did I do with it? Eeks. I've lost it already, guys. I put it somewhere. Here, oh, the Botanical Prince, and that is the one that uh, has black and white on one side as well. That's a product medley. So, yeah, and there's another one that goes with those big, um, it's called Seriously the Best, but I can't show it to you because I don't have the, the rest of the kit. The medley, yeah, the Botanical. Oh, let me bring that out. This one. So we have that one. There is a kit that goes with that one. And then the botanical one with this pretty peacock and the black and white and floral papers. So very, very pretty. Let me tell you, I had to kick the box that just came in out of my room because I still have the other box sitting on the floor up here filled with the stuff because I don't have anywhere to put it just yet. <laughs> the plaids look like PJs. I think they're supposed to look like golfers shirts or pants or something i don't know yeah that kind of pjs or 
men undergarments. <laughs> anyway, yeah. There's other papers that come too, but these are the two that are in the sampler pack. So, all righty, everyone. I appreciate you joining me. Out of everything, do you remember what I got before? Probably not because you've been watching too many other people, but um, if tell me what you want to see me do second because I have to do one thing in particular first and I'll be working on that tomorrow. So you may have a video. Uh, I don't know about tomorrow. It might be Thursday. Well, I'll probably film it tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll get it up until Thursday or Friday. Um, so, but then I'll kind of maybe put a poll out. Um, do you want to see the poppies, the fashion? The one I'm going to do first, just so you know, is the lily pads because I have to do it for a team swap. And that is celebration paper also. Um, so let me see. That is one of my faves in the celebration. Just want to see. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's free with 50. And there's... But it's 12 by 12s normally. So you get it, the sample in the tropical I have. I could do that. I could do some birthday stuff. More tropical. The only one I don't want to do for you is plaids. Because I have plaids still for Christmas to do. <laughs> Grace's garden. Grace's garden. The fence thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Grace's garden. Okay. You want to see what I'm able to do with that, huh? I know. I want to see what I'm able to do with it, too, because I love it. And the kitty. Look at that little kitty. <laughs> I'm so silly sometimes. The mountain air. Okay. We had two for Grace's Garden, one for mountain air. I think that can make some nice background things, images. All right, so since we had two for this, I'll do this after I do the um, lily pad ones, and then I'll do mountain air, and then we'll see. I have to put stuff away and figure it out. <laughs> Silly is good. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't sure about this one, but. I'll get some ideas when I play with it. I know I will. So, because, you know, it's it's sort of like doing the backgrounds like this. I just used a little tree and made like a whole little forest in the background with it. Well, here you've got a tree line. The line part is the thing I'm not too sure about, the landscape and the dimension, you know, getting things in front of things right and stuff. But. I think this moon is really cool, too. And I think that would go really cool with that stargazing stamp set I have, too, from the annual catalog. So there I have an idea about that. So, and I actually am really looking forward to using these fonts on this, too. Because I don't have too many in big fonts like that. And then, you know, soon after that, I have to use the bees. i got to go with the bees. Yes, I would say yes, except the difference is this is a reversible, you know, like the cup of cheer, the cup of, yeah, cup of cheer, the cups that were reversible. These are reversible. So like I said, you get the details here and the, like the watery color background stuff on the other side. So that'll be a little interesting. Um, but also, yeah, it's sort of like um, snow front or waterfront in that it looks more watercolory in these parts. But I, I don't know. I think it's a little different because those aren't reversible and those have areas where you just are supposed to like these parts might be closer to those. I don't know. I don't have those because I'm always nervous about them. <laughs> like, what am I going to do with them? But I thought I'd try the mountain air. I like mountains. I like mountains, so. All righty, so we have a plan. Grace's Garden, after lily pads, Grace's Garden, Mountaineer. 
seriously the best can probably wait maybe and then the honeybees were going to be after that because i just have to do my honeybees yeah um i'm not sure they have waterfront in the annual um they have snow front in the holiday and this one i guess i would say is pretty close to it they fall sort of under our artistic impression i, I want to say like four four of them in that kind of style four or five but i don't count them because i don't really usually go for them so i'm looking in the annual catalog try and find the waterfront one which was extremely popular apparently oh yeah here it is the waterfront and then i know they had the snow front with the deer and i actually thought about getting that too because i like that little cabin in the deer in the holiday catalog but um i think there's maybe it's just three I, don't know. I thought there were more. Here's the stargazing one. I thought maybe I could do something there with that and the moon, but I don't know. That might be too too big. So anyway, I don't want to go through the whole catalog. Hi Amelia. How are you? Do you have snow front? Yeah, I have to. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't have enough money. <laughs> I don't have enough money. I should get that one and the waterfront too, but I probably use the snow front and this mountain one more than I would the waterfront because I don't have too many people that are going to the shore all the time and stuff. Now there is a set I wanted and I apparently didn't get it. Um, Dina showed it, so I'm going to mention it. It's the one with the um, by the dock. Or something like that it has a rowboat and a dock and um i i am thinking still about getting that one stamp it's a bundle stamp and die um and that would be good for men or women that like to go out on lakes and things like that which i have in the past but i don't know how much of that i'll be doing in the future so I don't know if I'll get that one, but that's another nice set too, which caught my eye on the um, on the boards at on stage. So um, I do have to tell you that today is December 10th. So it is the last day for you to order the December paper pumpkin kit. And it's going to be a card kit with these colors in it. And it's gonna make 12 cards, three each of four designs with terracotta tile, grapefruit grove, crushed curry, old olive and shaded spruce. So today is the last day to order it guys, paper pumpkin. And it will be shipping out, December's kits will be shipping out around the 16th, which is a little bit like a few days later than they usually do because of the holiday order rush. And also, tomorrow is free shipping, one day only on anything. Now, you can't get these things, but um, you can get free shipping on clearance items because it's year-end clearance time. So, if you had in mind anything out of the holiday catalog you didn't get, tomorrow is a great day to get it because you get free shipping, which is a big deal. <laughs> And they don't offer it very often. And if you don't have a demonstrator, and I'd love to be yours if you're in the United States, please use this host code for December 7GFGYVYV. And um, yeah, did I go too fast? <laughs> That's my sale pitch. That's all I have for tonight, really. Um, don't forget the regular new trimmer is still available also for $25. And um, I'm going to be working hard after this week, probably, and in between holiday stuff, um, trying to get ready for next year. 
if you signed up for my collab, I am in Pennsylvania, southeastern Pennsylvania, like west of Philadelphia, about 35 miles west, I think. May not even be that much in miles, but in minutes, it's definitely that, and probably an hour now in rush hour or more. At least it used to be when I drove into the city. So where are you, Amelia? And I'm kind of excited. I met a lady at um, my second craft fair this year. And I had my catalogs out. And she actually placed an order last month with me. You're in New York City. Well, you're not real far. I mean, I just drove to Connecticut through the Bronx area of New York City um, in November. And that was what probably a couple hours away anyway i haven't been to new york city since high school i believe or no that's not true since uh, like within the first five years after high school i was there for business and i went during high school to see a play oh, i should have waved <laughs> i don't think you would have seen me <laughs> uh, anyway so, yeah, if you're in the States and need a demonstrator, don't have one, or if you're one of those that shops with everybody, I really love an order in December. And here's the host code, and I have a big mess to clean up. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, and um, don't forget, I put up a video today late, like I think around 4 um, on my 10 on the 10th cards. Do you want to see them real quick? I can show a peek of them. But then you won't watch my other video. So I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I um, I can't really craft tonight. Because I have no room. I have to clean the mess up first. I'll just show a quick peek. And my, my theme was use up scraps. So these were using pieces left over from last week's live. And these are using the product medley called It's a Wonderful Life, I believe. All of these were. And then this last one used the Night Before Christmas designer series paper. And then I used about six different stamp sets for sentiments and things. And delicata inks, and on some of them I heat embossed here. And I think, nope, not sure where else I heat embossed. I thought I heat embossed twice. Yeah, on the inside too. That's what it was. Thank you, Clay. So if you didn't see that video, go watch that and I explain how I made them. I don't actually do them on screen, but I tell you how I did them. So this was left over, like I said, from last week, as was this tree and this piece of watercolor paper. But I added to it and added the shaded spruce paper here and stamped on it. But anyway, I explained that in my other video, so I'm going to let you go. And Clay, did you see they have stays on ink coming in January in Saddle Brown? Because I know you like your different inks and uh, refills. So that's in next year's mini catalog starting January 3rd for you guys. Unless you join now, and then you can order pre-orders now like I do. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, I am going to say goodbye. Remember, if you'd like to join next year, you get this cute little mini trimmer. You get a product sampler if you join next year between January 3rd and March 31st, I believe it is. The paper sampler. And you get a free stamp set in addition to your normal starter kit. Okay. And you can only get this cute little guillotine. Um, trimmer by joining as a demo okay in january february or march all righty you're welcome Paige. thank you for stopping by and taking part of your day out or evening and um 
I honestly, sometime tomorrow, I need to be up here. I need to, I have so much to do all at once. That's how every day this week has been. I have to finish an audit review I was supposed to have done by today of my jewelry business and get that taken care of, make sure I don't owe anything. And then I have to make 32 cards for team swap, which should have been in the mail by today. <laughs> But I'm going to have to overnight them. I'm going to, that's going to be my all day tomorrow. I'm just going to shove this stuff back in the box and make those. And those will be out of the lovely lily pad stamp die and paper in the celebration that I've already showed before. And then um, I need to organize. And there was something else I was just thinking of. I don't know. I still have to address my Christmas cards. <laughs> I don't know, Brandy. I'm starting to get stressed. I'm starting to get even I, I had a doctor visit today, which was just a normal checkup thing. One of them. And uh, we talked a little bit and she said, I have a certain thing going on with me right now. And she said, well, it's probably stress. I'm like, yeah, I believe that. <laughs> Yeah, I can do it. I've done stuff before, but I'm, as I get older, I am feeling myself slow down and I don't want to use that as an excuse because I want to be that old person that still has that get up and go, you know, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So I refuse to believe I'm old still. I'm not old. I'm, I'm the new middle age, right? Isn't sixties the new middle age? <laughs> I'm trying not to next. I'll get it done. I just have to just do it in, in, you know, progression. But today didn't quite go all the way as planned either. And yesterday certainly didn't. <laughs> yeah, Brandy, you should join us for 10 on the 10th. Um, oh, and if anybody's on here has signed up for my four collabs for next year, I am going to be doing them. I'm late. That's the other thing I have to do this week is um, I have to get you emails out and make sure you all are still participating. I know, Brandy, you replied to me the other day already. Yeah, I know. Well... Except with swaps, Nick's, you know, it's it's like a group of eight of us, eight of us, seven of us. I can't, seven or eight of us. So I have to do four designs, eight of each, and then I can keep one of them each. And then I get back four designs of um, seven or eight people's designs, different, and they're, they're doing the different... Um, product suites for the mini and celebration. So I, I got tasked with doing the lily pad one because I don't think anybody else had it. So, Oh, uh, I think that might just be cause, cause Kim's taking a break brandy and, you know, in December from doing that one. So I'm sure she'll get something out later on. I don't think I got an email about it either, either. Yeah, they. I, I'll I'll let the uh, coordinator that's pulling it together know next. I'm sure she'll be all right, and it it'll probably get there by Saturday or Monday, and hopefully your package will too. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. But this and this time of year with the mailing too, you have to be careful because so many people are mailing packages that the post office and everything goes in overload mode. Yay. Yay. Six by six and jewelry. Awesome. I just, I haven't forgotten you. You will get emails. Uh, the other ones are, um, well, we're going to change the name and I forget the new name now, but it was smash those stickers or something like that. And it wasn't smash. It was basically using up stickers like Dollar Tree stickers and other stickers you might have laying around. That's one of them. And then embellishments on the 11th is the other one. So they're the four. And then Paige and Linda are doing one that I'm part of too, which we were going to call lovely little ladies, but I think we're just going to call it lovely ladies now. 
Um, and I have to change the thumbnail for that because I had, it's like, you know, the gorgeous girls and the pure innocence stamps and basically all little ladies, lovely ladies. That's on the first of each month. Good night, dear. Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> ladies and <in> clay. <laughs> You're welcome. And next week I will be doing um, a live and it will be making cards. Um, I just and probably Grace's garden will be some of it uh, or most of it. So thank you all for coming. And um, yeah. So, yeah, we'll have fun next year. It's going to be busy, but my my thing next year is to use and not buy so much I have to really watch it next year because now I have some payments I didn't have earlier this year because I had to get a new furnace and oil tank put in this year and you know when I was buying my mom's final expense stuff with her money I decided to go ahead and reserve a spot for me so I'm paying for that now too. And, um, and then the house has just been <laughs> like one thing after the other breaking yesterday. I had three clogged pipes in the basement. So, and how I figured out I had a clogged pipe was first on the weekend, the, the sink, the kitchen sink just stopped draining. So I called the plumber. I said, it's not really an emergency, but I need you here like soon next week. Cause I didn't want to pay overtime on Saturday or something. It had been going slow and I should have called sooner, but Thanksgiving was here and I just didn't have time to have somebody here. Well, then my son went to do a load of laundry on Sunday night <laughs> and water started spewing out all over the basement. And um, because we had another clog in the line, it wasn't the same line as the kitchen sink clog. And then like a main line had a clog, but this plumber was really good. My son-in-law recommended him and he like snaked everything out and ran water and made sure, had me run the washer and made sure before he left. And actually the first time he did that, it, it still splatted out. So that's, he thought he got it with the other clogs and he didn't. So he had to do a third one. And, uh, but it's all fixed now. <laughs> that's all fixed now. The ice cube maker is not working in the freezer still. So I decided just to use the old fashioned ice cube tray things. That was a different issue that came up right before Thanksgiving. It's just been, you know, one thing after the other and then doctor visits and, oh, and then of all times, you know, when you get older, you have to get these shingle shot things like, um, what do you call them? Immunizations. So I had the first one like last March or April and you're supposed to get the second one like two months after that, but it's in such high demand. The doctors only gets like 10 a month or something and they have it slotted. Well, they were supposed to slot me like in July to be priority and they never called. So I called them at the end of July and said, Hmm, I'm supposed to be on that list. I didn't get a call. We've got you here. You're on the list. Well, August came and went and they never called and I'm like, Okay, this is getting ridiculous. So the day I did the craft fair, December 4th, that morning, they called me and said they had it in. And I said, well, I can't come today because I'm leaving, getting ready to leave to go to a craft fair, but I'll come in tomorrow. So I did that on Thursday and then I didn't feel good the next day. My arm hurt, but also I just didn't feel good. You know how you get like feverish. And so that kind of slowed me down a little bit too. So it's just been one thing after the other, but I am not going to let it get me down. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to clean up this mess and get back into my groove, make some jewelry. Also, I'm looking forward to that. I really kind of got the, the bug to start making more jewelry again when I did my craft fairs. So I have to, I have to do that. Um, yep. All right, so I'm rambling, so I will let you go if you're not already all gone. <laughs> Have a good evening and a wonderful week, what's left of it. 
we are supposed to get snow starting at 11 and not much though i don't think just going from 11 till 8 in the morning um, but it's going to be colder then but not as cold as where Paige is, thankfully <laughs> so you all have a wonderful week and i will talk to you again as soon as i can and probably thursday or friday i'm thinking all right hugs love and peace take care And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all. Bye for now. Good night, Paige.